What is the difference between preaching and teaching? When we're talking about a person who, or a preacher who's te preaching or teaching God's word, commonly say he preached on or he taught on, but we, I realized that I never really knew the difference between the two. Um, a basic web search didn't exactly clear things up. According to Oxford Dictionary Online, preaching is defined as the delivery of a sermon or religious address to an assembled group of people, typically in church. And teaching is defined as the occupation, profession, or work of a teacher. However, that's the world's terminology, and by world I mean the unsaved. And scripture actually shines a light on this topic. If you go with me to Matthew 11, 1. Matthew 11, 1 says, And it came to pass, when Jesus had made an end of, comm of commending his dis twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Preaching and teaching are clearly two different things, because they're labeled preaching and teaching. If, if, they were meant, if they meant the same thing, as some people say, why would they be, um, why would scripture note both of them? Like that. Now, um, Matthew 3 1, um, we'll look at what preaching means. Matthew 3 1 says, In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Now, here we're told that John the Baptist preached in the wilderness. Now, here's the thing. Preached in the Greek language is keruso, which means to herald as a public crier, to proclaim or to publish. End quote. To preach is to simply spread the good news or, or to other people, whether it is in just one person or an entire crowd. Now, if we look at the word pre or teach, we can go to Matthew 11, 1, back there. And uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 1 states, And it came to a pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and preach in their cities. And uh, the Greek word there for teach is didasko, which means Quote, to hold a discourse with others in order to instruct them, to impart instruction, to instill doctrine, or, and to explain or expand a thing. End quote. So, a good illustration of the difference between preaching and teaching is, preaching is like looking at a rock and telling others what you see. And teaching is looking at that same rock, crushing it, Examining the various fragments, making various tests, scientific tests, and giving an exhaustive report on their findings. As you can see, one is much deeper than the other. <coughs> um, to quote Logos.com, Logos.com says, Preaching is biblical and theological content selected and presented in a mode of proclamation with the immediate goal of invitation and extortion. Teaching is biblical and theological content pre presented in a more detailed and systematic way for the purpose of explaining and unpacking complex issues, their interconnectedness, and their implications. There is an overlap, but also a distinction. Both preaching and teaching communicate biblical and theological truth, but their modes and goals are different. End quote. That was a lot of words, but... Um, that's what Logos.com says. It's my belief that everybody, to a certain extent, is called to preach the gospel. Jesus tells us to be his witnesses in Acts 1.8. As far as teaching goes, not everyone is called to teach. And the Bible even warns those who do so, but are not called. James, in the book of James 3.1, 
James 3, 1 says, My brethren, be not many masters, knowing what we shall receive the greater condemnation. Now, before I uh, finish, I'd like to mention a common deception, a misconception that people have about the difference between preaching and teaching. And that is, some people say that preaching speaks to the heart, while teaching speaks to the mind. Um, that's not exactly biblical, because preaching may touch your heart, but teaching can as well. I've had that happen. Preaching can be dull and boring, just as teaching can. Um, anyone who's done both knows. Um, it's commonly said that preaching is primarily geared toward life change, while teaching is primarily aimed at transferring knowledge. But teaching can change your life, and preaching can transfer knowledge. But the primary goal of each one is simple. Primarily, preaching is life-changing, while teaching is helping the Christian grow in their biblical knowledge. Um, in conclusion, according to the fact, facts found in Scripture, preaching is simply telling others of Jesus Christ. It's simply spreading the good news that were given in the New Testament. Well, teaching is explaining the theological, explaining a specific theological discussion in God's Word. For reference, this uh, small message can be labeled as teaching. Thank you for your attention, and God bless you.